Hi, this is Erika Kasab from Small Robot Studio. In this brush series, we'll take a look at the sculpting tools, learning how to customize them to get the most out of them. Today we are reviewing masking, which can be done through brush or selections. A mask is going to protect an area regardless if you try to sculpt or paint. This protected area will not be affected. The resolution of your mask depends on the number of vertices in our model. In essence, we are choosing which points to protect. The mask brush will let me paint by hand any mask. With this side button, I can switch to unmask to erase any masked area. Like any other brush, we have the stroke settings menu where I can change the fall off, maybe to be flat so there is no blur on the edges of my brush. Or I can use stroke smoothing and lazy rope stabilizer for control lines. By the way, if you want to learn how to use all these features, check out the other videos on the brush series. The second option for masking is using the mask selector. It's going to do a selection based on the camera, so consider using the orthographic camera to avoid perspective distortion. If you try to make a selection and nothing happens, that's probably because the tool is set to view. You have to select one of these options for the shape of our selection. Lasso will let me draw any shape. The white area indicates the masked area. Unless we are on unmask mode, then that white area is gonna erase. If you have a shaky hand and you struggle making clean lines, we can open the stroke settings and use the lazy rope stabilizer like we did on the masking brush. Line will mask based on a straight line. Inside the mask settings, at the bottom, we can modify the rotation step to set the specific angle for this line. A rectangle and ellipse mask are going to work similarly. They will draw a shape starting from its corner. Inside the mask settings, you can set them to be perfect squares or circles. Or instead of drawing the shape corner to corner, using the center as a start point. As for a polygon, when I tap the screen, it will create points. Tap between two points to create a middle one. You can tap and drag it to modify its location. To erase it, simply drag it to the closest point. When you are ready to apply the mask, tap on the green dot. An important note about the selection mask is that even if I'm just looking at the front, it's also gonna mask the back. There are several actions you're gonna often do with a mask, which you will find at the top of the mask settings. They are Clear, Invert, Blur, and Sharpen. Instead of opening this menu, we can hold down this Mask button on the side. If you cannot see this button, go inside the Interface menu and make sure to activate Mask under Left Buttons. To clear a mask, make a stroke on the background. To invert a mask, tap on the background. To blur, tap on the masked area and to sharpen, tap on the unmasked area. Make sure you are holding down the mask button while you are doing these gestures. Now, inside the mask menu, we have a couple extra actions. A mask can become a new geometry. Let's say I want to make a duplicate of this hand. Inside my mask settings, I'm going to extract it with feel as my closing action. My original model is intact and I have a duplicate of this geometry. Maybe I want to separate it, and the camera base split tool doesn't give me the cut I want. This time I'm gonna go for split with fill as a closing action. Voila, I got my cut. If instead I choose shale as a closing action, it's not gonna close the hole like before. It's gonna make the inside hollow. Needless to mention, selecting none as a closing operation is gonna leave an open hole. If I extract or split selecting shell, this gives me an extra option, which adds thickness along the surface normals of the new shell. The roundness of the edges can be controlled with the border smoothness slider. We can create globes for her with this tool. Or if you have seen my stylized head tutorial, I use this tool for the base volume of the hair. Masks are a brilliant tool with a lot of uses. Take advantage of them. Alright, I'll see you soon with a new tool for this series. Happy sculpting!
That's it for this tutorial. If you find it useful, make sure that you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we are bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking in the link below.